In this program, we're going to learn about genus. What is a genus? Genus is one of seven major categories that are used to organize or classify all living things. The plural of genus is genera. Biologists have classified and divided all living things into a series of categories. There are seven categories, or biological classifications. They are kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Scientists use biological classification to understand how similar or how different one living organism is from the other. This is how scientists would classify horses. The first category, kingdom, is the largest group. Horses and all other animals are included in the kingdom animalia, or animal kingdom. Kingdoms are then divided into smaller and smaller groups. As the groups become smaller, the organisms in each group are more alike. This diagram shows that a horse and donkey share many traits, but they are not the same species. Genus is the sixth category in which living things are broken down even further. All organisms within the same genus share similar characteristics. Wolves are part of the genus Canis. Canis is Latin for dog. Other members include domestic dogs and coyotes. Members of the Canis genus are carnivores, which means they eat only meat, are warm-blooded, and give birth to their young. The genus Aloe is made up of a variety of plants. Aloe plants grow in different places all over the world. They come in a variety of sizes and shapes, but are characterized by thick, fleshy leaves that store water. The genus Equus includes horses, zebras, and donkeys. Members of the genus Equus are herbivores, which means they eat only plants, have long heads and necks with a mane, and have a single toe protected by a hoof. It is important to understand that biologists are still learning about our world. They make new discoveries every single day. As our knowledge of the world changes, the categories of living things may change as well.